It's an antique milk glass, little shoe with toes hanging out of it. We're gonna head on inside here. It looks really good. I see some swung bittersweet vases in the window. You wait and see. Here we go. You can see them now better, much better. Look at this though. Marigold carnival glass, only $10. So I'm definitely going to be filling up my little basket with all of these because you can't go wrong. I always like to say there's different types of carnival glass, mainly two. We've got this early stuff, 1920s, 30s, 1915. And then there's, there's also the stuff that came out in the 1960s era, 1970s or so. But this is the earlier and I really enjoy them. So look at that one, $10. So we're gonna get as many as I can. $50 for this large blue one. I am tempted by that. Ooh, 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 look at this. This is 35 and it has the opalescentness in it, the opalescentness. 13 cent, or 13, 13, per, 13 inches. Oh yes, we like that a lot. So we'll get that as well. Then they've got the bittersweet. I love bittersweet. It's one of my favorite ones and it looks like candy corn. So for this time of year, it's especially great. And here we have a little Empoli vase as well. The Empoli, you know, it's tricky to ship sometimes because it's so thin and delicate. Here's more bittersweet. We've got those there, $90, $120. Here's another one. This one for $10, it has a lot more color loss, I wanna say. And since I just got two other ones, I think I'll just forego that one. This bittersweet is 40. This one, 50. The milk glass, twenty-five. I won't do the. I won't do the milk glass. How about this little guy? This looks like Northwood, because they've got those little tree branches. I am just a huge fan of these old lithograph prints, and we have three of them here, and they're just such great sizes. So look at the frame here. Oh, that's W. M. Thompson on it. Not far from my last name. This says "By the Light of the Silvery Moon." Oh, that's a song. It says it right on there. $8, I'm going to get that one. Look at the color on here though. This says printed for something, something Chicago, the mountain camp. Is that all I can interest you in? I mean, <laughs> are you leaving? Is that what yeah. it is? Okay. I don't want to interrupt your video. Well, oh, it, wait a minute. I'm going to probably get all of three of those, but let me go look at the swung vases again. Okay, so I added a few more swung vases. See you, Jeffrey. Have a good weekend. Look, Thanks, it's my name too. <laughs> And we've got the little bear on the rock. Isn't that great? So we're gonna get all three of these because they're $8 each. And I love these old lithographic prints. They're just, I'm just a huge fan of them. I like this one. It, it has the uh, warm tones with the fire and then the cool tones. I always like the juxtaposition on that. The mountain camp. Oh nuts. But anyways, so that's a good one as well for $8. I'm going to get all three. Very good. Well, this booth is 50% off and they have the red moon and star compote or cover dish really. And it's just, we love it so much. So we're going to put that right in there for 50% off of $14. That's $7. That's so good. Oh, ah, we got to use both hands. That's so good. So um, I'm really anxious about it. And you know what? I think we're going to continue to do well here. I mean, whenever you have a great start like that, you just, you could just, you just know it's going to be great. Oh, wait a minute now. You silly little goose. It's bears only. That's misleading. That's misleading. Because it's so small. You know what's going to happen. People are going to think it's all things. Bears only. You're not a bear. Well... Should I show this dish a lesson and not get it, or should I just do it anyway? Well, it's kind of funny because everywhere I look, there's like this 50% off thing. And like this one is 50% off of everything. See, dealer 110. This is department something or other, six, I think it is. But like there's like furniture only is crossed off. So it's like everything in here. But I guess it's different. Vengeance. Ooh, yeah, but they've got $25 on it. So those are the Mercury ornament, the Mercury, the Mercury beads, Christmas, vintage Christmas. Here's some silver ones for 20. That would be $10. Oh, clip-ons. Or no, those aren't clip-ons. They're just birds. They're not clip-ons at all. I like clip-on birds only. Thank you very much. So, okay. Well, 
yeah, okay, so I'll get these if they're, because they're going to be $10. And I don't ever get to buy mercury bulb, mercury beads. These are heavy, why are they heavy? Are these actually, I'll have to look at them carefully before I really buy them. But there's a lot to see, so I'll let you know whenever we find some more great stuff. This is so cool. It's a, like, I guess a clam chowder or something. Well, that doesn't make sense. Lobster chowder. Or maybe it's just a mug. It says Jackson, China, Falls Creek, PA. Uh, the date code is, looks like J6. So you can date that for $5. One of those. Some of them say Smitty on them. With the little guy's head on it. That's Smitty, I guess. But $5... I wonder. Wait a minute. Actually, it's 50% off. But I was wanting to maybe get the two ones that had lobsters on them. And just leave poor old Smitty by himself. And that leaves all four of those. So these were really then $2.50. See? That's good. That's a good thing we just did. Oh, boy. So the beads. Little update. Those are plastic. The colorful ones are plastic. That's why they were so heavy. The ones I got are mercury glass, so... That's what we're gonna do. Really sad because I found this chocolate box, this old novelty chocolate box. There's no price tag. Ooh, it's a shame. It's cedar. The feet are there. It's carved. But yeah, they uh, they sold chocolates in here. It was like a little novelty box, and then you can use it for, you know, like a dresser box when you're done with it. Have like a label. It would have a label on the the side here, kind of. And this one has two pictures on it in the oval. Hmm. That's really a shame because the price points in here don't look like they're bad at all. Ugh. Over there, I was looking for the tag if it like had fallen off. The problem is there's tags every, oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's this one. Vintage bonker. No, it's not bonkers. I don't know. There's like vintage $3. Voyage, that must be a game. And Rainbow Candle 10. Rainbow Candle 10, no it's not that. I don't know. Okay, so we're in the back of the lower level. I think there's an upstairs. Not sure how the upstairs will be. A lot of places, a lot of antique malls, the upstairs is usually, hate to say it, not that, not as good. I don't know why it's like, sometimes it's just like all clothes, for instance, or all new stuff, or, and when I say, not good, I mean subjectively for me, not for everybody. What is this? Plush toys, prices as marked. I don't see any flamingos in there. Some transferred dishes, transferred, transferware dishes there. Okay. Silverware miscellaneous. There's a panther. 20 is not bad at all for that one. Little beanie babies. Okay, I think we're going to go upstairs. I did this entire area here so you can see what we did. Just walking by these items here on the wall. There's a hen on a nest, Indiana glass, hen on a nest, and the milk glass. Six dollar brass owl, and this is all 15% off too. Hmm. That's a Fire King tulip bowl. It's a little mixing bowl. They have 30 on that, which isn't too much, too bad at all. And there's some funeral fans right here. They are like advertisements for the funeral parlor. Okay. Oh, these are fun. This is called a Miracle Maze. It's a cornbread mold. $10 on that one, which isn't much at all. Those are fun though. You can put your cornbread in there and then it looks like little co corn cobs. Okay, let's go upstairs. Whoops. That was me, don't worry. This basket looks paltry. Not good. But th the reason is, is because everything's up front. We did so good at the start, you know. I just don't know if I want to get this moon and star or not. I don't like how I was tricked. I was tricked. Oh my goosh. Oh my goosh. Look at this lusterware. It's in the purple and that like almost celadon green. $15 for the whole, or no, it's not. It's, I think it's marked separately. Oh yes, it's marked separately, but wow, that's so cool. Now this is really good. So this is a pair of M. DeVoe birds. Very collectible. And it has this like metallic background on it. $88 for the pair. We've got this bird and of course the flamingo. 
too bad that the frame is a little screwy right there. I have actually had a large version of this one before. And that's a really good manageable size for that one. But I'm going to I'm going to not do it. I'm going to be good about it. It's just really cool. Oh yeah, the frame's a little messed up there too. But Imdevo, very collectible. They go for good money online, so if you want to look those up. Oh, there's a feather art. This one's good. Well, there's no price on it, but it's good. For the little feather art bird. It's made with feathers. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Comics. We don't do comics. Oh, there's all these collectible plates. All the different ones. And lots of art up here, too. That's good. It'd be fun to do a whole wall of them, though. Ooh, a lithograph print again. Now, this one's of a cabin. It's Robert Wood. And there's a mountain and trees. That's a nice-looking one. Yeah, it has like a textured paper too to make it kind of look like it was painted. You see where it, the light hits it. Sometimes it's just printed on like paper paper. This is nice and it's only $8. So I'll do this one. I think it's a fun little guy. You're a fun little guy, so get in the basket. Get in there. Stop being obtuse. Get in. There. Oh yeah, see, this is a whole room of books. The reluctant cowgirl. I wonder what she doesn't want to do. Someone's trying to get her to do something. She's reluctant about it though. Yeah, there's some art up here. This is another lithograph print and it says Herman, no, Herman, yeah, Herman Rudushi. I have not heard of that one before. Here it is up close, maybe you can read it. Now, Robert Atkinson Fox did a lot of these, of course, and a lot of them he did under different names because he was commissioned and he didn't want his name tied to them for, you know, certain reasons. Maybe he didn't like or agree with the, what it was. Maybe he didn't like, because if you're doing something for somebody and they're like, well, can you change this? Can you change that? Can you make this more of the emphasis and crop it this way or... And then, you know, you're like, well, I don't want people to think I did that. So, and then you, you put a different name on it. And he did that. Many different names. Oh, that's pretty. There's a, a whole horse thing for $13. So this is definitely really cool. It's an antique milk glass little shoe with toes hanging out of it. And it's $5. Well, I suppose there's a big line going through it. But yeah, it's probably five. And, but there's a chip on the back of it. Normally I would stay away from things like this. If there's, it's a smooth, it's smoothed down. So it's not bad or anything. And you can hardly see it's a toothpick holder, but antique milk glass, 1905, 1895, somewhere in there. Very, I've not seen this before. So that's why I'm gonna get it. Otherwise I wouldn't, I'd just leave it there and it'd be forever not mine, but we'll put it in the basket and, uh, Yes, I think we're getting close to being done. There's one of those funeral fans. I just happened to be already spread out. So I was talking about this earlier. It's this printed lithographic, usually, print. And it, this is of sailboats. Very random, but look on the back here. Wright Funeral Home. This is out of Paris, Illinois. They have $22 on this one. It's common for people to pencil in the price directly on the items and then you can just erase it later but yeah it, it has these two brads or grommets I guess and it just sort of folds in on itself or slides in on itself so that's nice little paper ephemera what are these are these like have any what are these are they like old sl oh. tags they're tags oh like what in the world there's other tags Okay, they're just fun tags to have in your booth. I, I didn't know what they were doing with those. Makes good sense now. Ooh, look at the English ironstone. I'm, I'm back in this one booth. That's why you, you might have seen this earlier. That's pretty. Fantasia with a P. That's beautiful. 30. Ironstone is known for being heavier and, and, well, very heavy. This isn't as heavy as some of the ironstone that I've seen. Some of it's almost as heavy as, well, a lot of it's restaurant wear and not nearly as ornate, but 
It's really cool. We like it a lot. Well, this cabinet up near the register is 50% off as well. And this is Challoner and Taylor. It doesn't say that. I think it's Challoner Taylor. $68.50 would be $34.25. And it's an old syrup pitcher. And so I love picking these up when I can. And this one being the blue, blue slag, blue milk glass even, is wonderful. Mm. It's so good. So good. All the swanky swigs, different ones. We've got a Fenton hobnail and the fan vase. There's some more of the blue. Are those for your candles? $180 for that bundle. My goodness. Very unique. What are those two doing? They're making out at the dance. Oh. Who did that? I don't know. But I think we're going to check out now and call it a day. I really enjoy this piece. Hopefully it does well for me. Yep. Okay, I think that was really, really great. I found some interesting stuff at fantastic prices. The swung vases, of course. Of course, we're so good. Uh, well, we're gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.